Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. My name's Chris and today we will be reviewing the 173 piece DeWalt full chrome polish tool set. Not only will we be looking at the tools, we're going to use them, check out the ratchets and we're going to stress test them. So let's go take a look. You can see it comes in a plastic blow molded case with metal latches. Did I mention that this comes with a lifetime warranty, guaranteed tough, hassle-free replacement? You better bet I'm going to test that out. I will see if that is able to keep all the sockets in place. Ah, we lost a couple things. Ratchet looks nice. I wonder if it's as strong as it looks. Wow, we shook one of those bits loose. And that's pretty common that I see on these DeWalt or even Stanley tool sets is that you're gonna lose a bit, shake around a socket once in a while, but sometimes those sockets can even be tougher to get out. Now let's go look at some of the items that are included in this set. We're gonna look at some of the sockets here first in quarter inch drive. You're gonna get them in in shallow and in deep, and they're all six point. So the metric is pretty well encompassing in the lower quarter inch drive, but when you get up to the three eighths inch drive shallow, that's got really good coverage from six to 18. Would have liked to see that 19, but they do have that in half inch drive. Now the deep 3 8 inch drive metric sockets, they're really almost like a mid length, so these are not the tallest of deep sockets and then you get the half inch drive here only in shallow so throughout the whole set whether it's sae or metric in half inch drive you do not get any deep sockets now here you can see the sae shallow sockets in quarter inch drive as well as the selected sizes in sae deep quarter inch sockets now the 3 8 inch drive shallow SAE sockets are a pretty decent set as well. It does skip a couple sizes or not have as many on the high end there, but what it doesn't have, it makes up for in the half inch drive portion of it. We jump up to some of the items that are in the upper lid here. You can see that we get the combination wrenches in metric and in SAE in a good varying sizes. You also do get some Torx bit sockets. These are three eighths inch drive as well as some nut drivers. And then you get the Allen keys or hex keys in both metric and an SAE. The last few items that round out this set are going to be this nut driver here. Really would have liked to see this being a quarter inch pass-through extension that you could have used on the ratchet and helped with the extensions that do come with this as well as one spark plug socket. So now let's go look at my favorite part. I want to see those ratchets. So we have our quarter inch drive ratchet here. This comes in at five and a half inches. That DeWalt 3 8 inch drive comes in at seven and a half inches. And this again is a 72 tooth ratcheting mechanism. And here we have our half inch drive. This comes in at nine and a half inches. Get another full chrome polish. So we got a little rust going on down there. Decent 72 tooth ratcheting mechanism. No quick release on this. good feel in the hand. These really aren't that bad of tools and I really do like the chrome polish. So let's stop looking at these and let's go test them out. So here we have that DeWalt quarter inch drive. Go ahead and do some hand tests here. Forty four point nine foot pounds. Switch directions here. Fifty-five point three foot pounds. Still sounding a okay. Sixty-two point three foot pounds. Ooh, for a ratchet that's under six inches in quarter-inch drive, that is a ton of torque. If you guys have ever tried putting a bunch of torque on a quarter-inch drive. Hopefully you'll understand that that is a lot. Now let's take this one up to failure, low and slow.
81.5 foot pounds. Holy cow, that thing is strong. So the mechanism inside is still good. We just purely sheared off that anvil at 81.5 foot pounds. Whew. Now that, that's some strength. So let's go check out that 3 8 inch drive ratchet. Do note that this meter for the audible notifications only go up to about 150 foot pounds, so we will have to switch out meters. So we're gonna have to switch meters and see how that works. So we're gonna pull out that 48 inch cheater pipe as well as the three quarters up to 740 foot pound digital torque meter. Now, if you missed one of my other videos, we did some torture testing on a Tekton ratchet. It will be up in the cards as well as down below in the description. So now let's go ahead and take this DeWalt 3 8 inch drive ratchet to failure. Now the internal sounded okay, but we're going to check it in a little bit to make sure that it is. Now let's try out that half inch drive. See what we can do on that ratchet. Please note, while this is half inch drive, don't try this at home as we will be putting a ton of force on this. I have tried to do a half inch before. It did best me. It was the half inch drive Craftsman gunmetal ratchet, as well as I was able to stress test the quarter and three eighths. If you missed out on that video, there'll be a link to it up above in the cards and down below in the description. So let's keep on testing this ratchet out. Now there was a little life left in that, so it probably slipped a tooth inside. So we'll see if we can finish it off here and then we'll go tear it apart. By golly, if you're gonna break that thing, you're gonna have to put on a four foot cheater pipe and then figure out how to apply 600 plus foot pounds of torque and maybe not use a cheater pipe, but that is a ton of force coming down in that ratchet. And here you can see right away, look at that. We got those metal shavings in there. This thing is just tore up on the inside. And you can see that we just ground off and sheared off a bunch of the teeth on that gear. So I thought this did really impressive for the price point that the DeWalt ratchet comes in. The Paul on there, it looked pretty good. Here we're just digging around inside and you can see the rest of the metal shavings coming off that anvil. We'll button this thing up and it's not ever going to be the same. But you know, it's still in one piece. We didn't have metal flying all over. Nobody got injured, and that's the most important thing. So let's tear into this 3 8 inch drive. And while it sounds okay, I mean, if you really look here on a closer inspection, you can definitely see that the teeth here suffered some damage and that if that anvil would not have failed when it did, we would have started slipping teeth just like we did on the half inch drive. Now the pawl here, that looks to be in decent condition. No major catastrophic failures there. We're going to go ahead and button this up. We're going to talk about one issue that I ran into this set with the detents on the sockets. So if you got some OCD or can't stand mismatches, that's going to be a showstopper for you. But again, nice ratchets, really performed well. So let's give you my final thoughts. So guys, if you're looking for some decent quality tools at a decent price, DeWalt may be something that you want to check out. You get that nice full chrome polished finish, some super strong non-quick release ratchets, all in a nice little case. Every now and then these can be a little bit tough to take out. And you might have to watch out for that detent style that switches on you. So here, hopefully you can see on the 18 to 15 millimeter, there is one detent style. That's the oval milled out. And then on 14 and some of the other ones, they have the milled out slotted detent, which does allow for the socket to come on and off of the detent easier. 
it really makes for a sloppy socket on the ratchet with a lot of slack and I just don't like that. So while that detent style might not annoy you like it does me, these tools are guaranteed tough, lifetime warranty, hassle-free replacement. You just call that 1-800-4-DEWALT number or visit DEWALT.com. No proof of purchase required. You just don't know what you're going to get back in return. So guys, if you are not already a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have something of value to add, add it down below in the comments. And as always, guys, work smarter, not harder, and I'll catch you in the next video.